I'm Professor David LeBlanc. I teach in the Computer Science and Information Technology Department, and I'm the coordinator of our Network and Usability Lab. So, like, what's a typical day being a professor here at this at the Computer Science Lab? <laughs> um, well, we teach, of course, so I have to teach two or three times a day, and go in a couple of hours in the classroom, then I come, and if it's a good day, I get to go to research lab, so I talk with Dylan, we discuss how he's trying to get the systems to communicate with one another. Um, sometimes I talk with clients where we're trying to develop systems for them. Um, so mainly it's a mix of teaching and then research and the hope is that I can take the research that I do and bring it into the classroom. So Dylan's also worked on developing systems for iPads. Okay. So, and now we've got a course that teaches iPhone and iPad, iPad programming. So it's always, that's the thing about universities. You're taking your research where you're going out and discovering new things and then bringing it into the classroom and trying to share it with the students. So what's the opportunity for graduates from the program? Well, from the computer science program in general, it's huge. There's a massive shortage of computer scientists around the world, and even here on PEI, we have many jobs for each of our graduates. Now, Dylan is going through our video game programming specialization. We've got three reasonably large video game development companies here on the island that hire or employ between 50 and 150 people each. Uh, Dylan has had mentorship from people from these companies, uh, so they know him. Uh, assuming he does well in his final project where he builds a video game, he should walk straight into a job in the video game development industry. What are the prerequisites for getting into this program, and what kind of person would be interested in it? Well, it attracts people who are interested in problem solving and are pretty good at math. So we say, if you're good at math, logic, and you don't mind working hard, this is the type of industry that you want to get into. Yeah. Also, if you like to earn good money, because starting salaries in this industry are normally between forty and $60,000 a year. So, <laughs> starting salaries. Starting salaries, yeah. <laughs> and um, what does that uh, sort of snowball into? What, what are we talking number-wise? Oh, after a few years, yeah. you do well in this industry. I know people who earn over $200,000 a year, not here on the island, but off here on the island, you can earn over $100,000 a year.